A fresh Hyperloop model was introduced by Elon Musk, where he mentioned a traveling speed of about 700 miles per hour. As the Tesla CEO made the concept open source, other companies have tapped into the idea and are working quite hard to make the Hyperloop fast and a reality. This video is going to discuss the Hyperloop technology, its advantages, and how far companies have come to achieve it. Also, make sure to like and subscribe for more high quality content. As technological advancements have pushed innovations, Elon Musk proposed a 700 miles per hour Hyperloop system that will connect users to places in no time. Many countries in Europe and Asia are currently being filled with high speed trains that transport passengers within short periods. Elon Musk's Hyperloop concept, on the other hand, could transport passengers in less than 45 minutes, with the top speed reaching about 700 miles per hour. The Hyperloop concept gathered popular attention in 2013, when Musk wrote his Hyperloop Alpha paper, and in November 2020, Virgin Hyperloop demonstrated the first passenger test ride. The fascinating news is that Virgin Hyperloop and Hyperloop Transportation Technologies are currently working to make Hyperloop a reality by 2030. Elon Musk's initial Hyperloop concept incorporated reduced pressure tubes, where pressurized capsules could ride on air with bearings driven by linear induction motors and axial compressors. Elon Musk's Hyperloop paper conceived a Hyperloop system that would move passengers along the 560 km route at a speed close to 760 miles per hour. In this Hyperloop Alpha paper, Elon Musk outlined the case for a service running between Los Angeles and San Francisco which could be much cheaper and faster than a proposed high-speed rail. He further argued that this Hyperloop could also be safer, faster, easily affordable, weatherproof, self-powering, and less disruptive to people living along the route. He went on to mention that a Hyperloop service could really be the answer to intercity travels less than 1500 kilometers apart. Elon Musk wrote on his Alpha paper that, short of figuring out real teleportation, which would of course be awesome, the only option for super-fast travel is to build a tube over the ground or under the ground that contains a special environment. The travel time amounts to roughly 45 minutes, which is faster than current air travel times, including rail travel times too. Elon Musk and SpaceX made the Hyperloop concept open source, and a lot more people have been encouraged to develop the idea. Remarkably, SpaceX built an approximately one mile long subscale track for the pod design at its headquarters in Hawthorne, California, and recently, Virgin Hyperloop conducted the first human trial with the Virgin Hyperloop executives Josh Geigel, its chief technology officer, and Sarah Lucian, director and passenger experience, as the first passengers went on a high speed trip of 107 miles per hour in the Virgin Hyperloop's development test site in Las Vegas, Nevada. Hyperloop operates simply by sending specially designed capsules and pods through a steel tube, maintained at a partial vacuum. Elon Musk's original concept had that each capsule will float on a 0.5 to 1.3 mm layer of air provided by pressure. The Hyperloop capsules in Elon Musk's model float on the tube surface on top of a set of 28 air bearing skis. One particular difference is that it is the pod and not the track that generates the air cushion, which keeps the tube as simple and as cheap as possible. Several other versions of Hyperloop use magnetic levitation rather than air skis to keep the passenger pods above the tracks. The passenger pods will get initial velocity from an external linear electric motor, which could accelerate the pods above the track, which would accelerate it to high subsonic velocity and further give a boost at about 70 miles every time. And in the middle of the track, the pod would glide along in near vacuum. Hyperloop 1's technology makes use of passive maglev. Linear induction motors that are located along the tube would accelerate and decelerate the capsule to a speed appropriate for each section of the tube route. As rolling resistance is eliminated and air resistance marginally reduced, the capsules then glide for most of the journey. In Musk's original concept, an electrically conductive inlet fan and axial compressor will be placed at the nose of the capsule to assist in actively transferring high pressure air from the front to the rear of the pod. This particularly resolves the problem of air pressure building up in the front of the vehicle, which slows it down. One fraction of the air is then passed to the skis for additional pressure, and the shape of the pod could well gain passively from the lift. In a particular alpha level concept, the passenger only pods are able to be 7 foot 4 inches in diameter and are projected to reach a top speed of 760 miles per hour, intended to maintain aerodynamic efficiency. 
Hyperloops are no longer hypothetical, and a handful of firms now compete to develop this technology. In addition to perfectly designing the pods and further testing them on a small-scale track, these firms are taking advantageous steps to set up Hyperloop routes in the United States and abroad. One of the biggest players in Hyperloop technology is Elon Musk himself, and his boring company plans to dig a Hyperloop tunnel that will make it possible to easily travel from Washington DC to New York in half an hour. While Elon Musk and his boring company are advancing with their plans, the pair of California-based startups, Virgin Hyperloop One and Hyperloop Transportation Technologies, are developing Hyperloop routes in North America, Asia, and Europe. Before we begin to see the first Hyperloop passengers board, a lot of engineering and regulatory expectations must be met. However, roads in numerous areas have been badly congested, and air travel has been subjected to weather troubles. Hyperloop will not just save time, but it will also be less polluting compared to planes, cars, and trains. The Hyperloop routes will have steel tubes approximately 11 feet in diameter that will be positioned in underground tunnels. The pods will be 100 feet long, and they will have virtual windows, video screens, and sitting arrangements capable of housing 40 passengers. Virgin Hyperloop One already built and tested a prototype pod. Many critics have mentioned that the construction of Hyperloop technology will demand more money than usual. Interestingly, we are poised to see the first passenger Hyperloop journey soon. Virgin Hyperloop's test took place in the company's DevLoop test track, and the first two passengers were the company's chief technology officer and the company's head of passenger experience. The test pod traveled at 100 miles per hour down the length of the track before slowing down and eventually stopping. Apart from being an important achievement for the company involved, it is also good news that the Elon Musk Hyperloop concept has challenged innovations and more people are committed to achieving this fast means of transportation. The Pegasus pod used in this first passenger test was also called the XP2, and it lays the foundation of what Virgin Hyperloop hopes will eventually become a full-size pod for conveying about 23 passengers. The Pegasus weighs about 2.5 tons and measures close to 18 feet in length. The track used for the test is 500 meters long and 3.3 meters in diameter. On this site located in the desert of Nevada, Virgin Hyperloop has conducted over 400 tests without any human passengers. The company hopes to not just have a vacuumed environment, but also have persons inside the travel tracks. The pod did not reach Elon Musk's theorized speed of 760 miles per hour, and the company hopes that if they continue to build enough tracks, they'll eventually be able to develop something that might reach 670 miles per hour. Hyperloop trips will be really quiet and extremely smooth, not to mention they're going to be quite fast. Hyperloop developers aim to develop systems that will catch and reach the speed of Elon Musk placed a couple of years back. Although the fastest any pod has traveled is 240 miles per hour, still by Virgin Hyperloop. Virgin Hyperloop One plans to begin testing full-sized Hyperloop systems in the coming years, and then eventually build Hyperloops in India and the United Arab Emirates, among others. The company is currently conducting feasibility studies for routes in Missouri and Colorado, and furthermore, Hyperloop Transportation Technologies itself is carrying out feasibility studies for Hyperloop links between Chicago and Cleveland, and is also considering routes in Europe, South Korea, and the United Arab Emirates. Elon Musk set up the borrowing company, aiming to make it easier and faster to dig tunnels under and between cities to help make Hyperloop projects more feasible. In fact, Digging tunnels cost about $1 billion per mile, and the borrowing company plans to dig tunnels for one-tenth of the price. The borrowing company has recently received a permit to begin excavating a possible Hyperloop station in Washington, D.C. Over the next few years, we may well begin to see answers to questions bothering around the competitive advantage of Hyperloop and its safety standpoint. To work effectively, the Hyperloop must provide the sort of service, pricing, and safety that will attract paying passengers from their current modes of transportation, including airlines, trains, and personal cars. Before Hyperloop transportation is generally accepted, companies will have to prove that traveling by tube is a safe option. Have safety measures been taken to ensure that damages are not encountered on the tracks? More advancements will usher in the world into an era of technological prowess, and the Hyperloop is one such advancement. While they sometimes come with hazards, their benefits are mouthwatering and crucial to human presence. Elon Musk's 760 mile per hour Hyperloop idea has not yet been achieved by anyone, but companies are working daily to make it happen. Thank you for watching one of our videos. While you're still here, go ahead and click on one of these two videos on your screen. See you there!